Our next guest has been buried alive, burned at the stake, and even attacked by sharks. But he's not here to see a doctor. He's here to blow your mind. Darby's, these are old-fashioned British police handcuffs. So now fuel on me <laughs> and fuel on the log. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Pick open. Now I guess we should bring in the bees. Hang upside down with the storage box lid around my neck. Mikey's going to put me in a straitjacket and then he's going to lock my head underwater. Please welcome the oh. daredevil Jonathan Goodwin. Hi. Jonathan, apparently you have a Broadway show starting this month called The Illusionist's Turn of the Century. Uh, tell us about that and some of these, I'm just preparing for these amazing challenges that you do. Well, The Illusionist is, it's a, basically it's a, a magic variety show. And I'm, I'm sort of the odd person out because nothing that I do in the show is a trick. I'm basically doing dangerous, stupid, reprehensible things. Has there ever been a moment where you were the most scared? Because again, these are real life scenarios where you're putting yourself at risk. Yeah, and, and I have a pretty good batting average. I've broken a tib fib before and I've been burned a few times, but that's about it. And I've been doing it for a little while. And I think that, you know, part of my job is, is overcoming the fear element of it, you know, and, and that comes from research and real careful planning. You know, when you go and see the, the Illusionist show, you're getting to see basically what's like three. This is, this is you, Jonathan. That's me hanging from a, from a helicopter by oh my, my toes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. What, did you do, like, as a child? Not, were you not doing, <laughs> not, not, not necessarily then. that, but were you, when did this start? Yeah, I read a book about Houdini when I was seven. And I guess like any kid, I was fascinated with the character of a superhero. But the thing about Houdini was he, he was real. You know, he really did those things. And once I realized you could do that for a living, then that's what I wanted to so do. So did you say, Mom, can you tie me up and let me see if I... <laughs> Yeah, that kind it's, of stuff. It was basically cheap childcare for my parents. Yeah. It was just tie me to the, to the foot of the stairs and let me go at it, yeah. One of the other things you do to prepare is you have, you have a pretty high pain and fear tolerance. Sure. And so we often talk in the show, look, even if you're just going to the doctor to get a shot, it can be incredibly scary. And the pain can get a lot greater if mentally you let it. But you have some tricks that you use that I was hoping that maybe we could steal from you when it comes to helping to maybe tolerate painful procedures, for instance. When I have a, a challenge in front of me, what I do first is I learn every single thing that I can about it, to the point where I'm kind of bored by it. So when I, when I finally get there and I'm, you know, the helicopter's next to me, I'm like, okay, I'm bored, let's just do it, let's get it over with. And I think that anxiety and fear makes pain a lot of the time so much worse because actually, a lot of the time, it's, it's not that not that bad. I think if you can if you can combat the fear uh, with knowledge, then then a lot of the times you know you're going to get through it a lot more easily. Has there been anything where you, someone said, "Oh, can you do this?" and you said, "No, I'm not doing that." Mm -hmm. Not yet. Really? Uh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. One of the things that that I do in the um, in the theater show is I, I hang um, from my teeth 20 feet up in the air. Uh, and and that was put to me as a challenge, and uh, there was uh, yeah, challenge. and it took me a, a little while to to get there, psychologically and also physically. Is that like with um, a bite block? Yeah, so I'm biting down on a on a piece of, of webbing, uh, and actually, from a point of view of your bite force, it we're all capable of doing it, you know. And, and I'm sure you know you guys know this that, that in a guy your jaw is mm -hmm. basically the strongest muscle that you have. Uh, so you're capable of doing it, but it really hurts. So it's about it's about getting over that, knowing your body can do it, and and then sort of accepting the pain and moving through it. And the hardest thing is actually all of the muscles in the back of your neck, because as you're being picked up from here, all of these muscles back here are holding all of your weight, and it hurts. So it goes without saying mm. for anyone watching that we are not promoting any of this. <laughs> you should not try any of this. Jonathan is a professional who studies all these things, all those things we saw in your video. Sure. You would even say, hey, don't do this. Don't try it. Um, but keep oh, up the yeah. good work, Jonathan. Thank you.